This video is for absolute beginners to programming. I want to show you how to quickly get started with the Odin programming language in a way that hopefully is easy to follow along. So first, just open up something like Windows File Explorer. You can right click and create a new text document. Let's name this main.odin and just delete that txt extension off the end. Now when you hit enter, it'll ask you if you are sure that you want to change the file type, the extension to the file. So just click yes there. Next, and you should notice here by the way that you have an Odin file. Next, let's open this up in a program like Notepad. If you already have a program like Sublime Text because you've done some coding before, then go ahead and open what you're comfortable with. I'm going to start with Notepad, assuming that you're just totally, uh, totally brand new to this. Now with Odin, we have the concept of packages, which is really just like file folders on your file explorer. So at the top, you'll have to write package main. That's the name that we're giving our package, this uh, group of files within this folder. You can name this anything. It doesn't have to be main. It can be game. It can be project. It can be whatever you want. So package main is what I will go with because that's what you'll see in a lot of the documentation. And we'll start by writing our first function. Now, when code is executed by the computer, it starts at the top and it just works its way down until you get to the end. Every program has an entry point, so a beginning point that when you run it, it calls a function first. And a function is just a collection of different instructions that you want the computer to run. So the function that Odin will always look for when it's running a program is the main function. Or in Odin, it's called a proc, a procedure. So you type main, colon, colon, proc, and these brackets right here, these braces, and then all the code goes between these two curly braces like that. So it doesn't matter if you write it like this where the first curly brace is on a new line or if you write it up at the top like this, you'll see both uh, in the wild. I like to write it like this. And that's all we're going to do. This is just basic program. We're not even printing anything to, to the computer yet. So save that. And I'm just going to move this over here to the right. And then you can open up a command prompt here. Uh, let's see, on Windows, it's CMD, I believe. So open up a command prompt by typing CMD. I'll move this over here as well. And I'm just going to navigate to where this file is. So it's in my documents code, learn to code. And if I type DIR, I can see my main file right there. Now, if you don't know how to compile this program, that means use the Odin program to read the file that we just made to create an executable file with it, then you need to watch my first video where I show you how to set up Odin on Windows. Once you've gotten that video finished, you should be able to type something like Odin space run and then our file here. So I can do main.odin dash file. That's telling Odin to run this file, or I could type build, that's even better. And what that will do is it'll, from this program that we just wrote, it will build a program. It'll build an executable file. So when I hit enter, you'll see now here in my file explorer, I have a main.exe. That's an executable file. I can double click that and run it. it doesn't do anything, but you can see that uh, what we've written is a valid program. It was able to be compiled. Now I want to show you something a little more interesting in our program here, just beneath the first line. So package main, I want to use existing code from the Odin library of programs of code so that I can print something to my command prompt here when I run the program. And you do this by importing. So there's a keyword called import. You can import pro, uh, code from another place and use it in our program here. So we use the double quotation marks. We will import from the core package fumpt, FMT, often, uh, often read as fumpt, which is the formatting package. So that gives us access to a whole bunch of code in another place that we didn't write, but we can use it. So within our main procedure, you can uh, add some spaces or you can do a tab to indent your code a little bit so it's easier to read fmt dot and we're going to call another function that's in the formatting package print ln which is print line and when we call a function which again is just 
um, something that executes code that's written within curly braces here, we're going to pass in sometimes what's called an argument. And the argument will be a, a string of letters that we want to print to the console here. So I just want to print hello world. You'll see this often when you're learning to program. Uh, you will do a simple program that just does something like prints hello world to the browser screen or your command line. So we use fumpt print line and within double quotes, it's important, double quotations, we'll print hello world. I want to save that, open up the command prompt again, and just like we did before, I want to call Odin build. Uh, I want to build the main file here. Now, when I double click main.exe, it should open up should open up a command prompt. Oh, actually here, I'll run it right here. That way we'll see it because I'm not actually opening our window. Run, sorry, main.odin file. And you'll see here that it printed hello world to the console. Now, if I were to call the program from the console, that's that was my mistake. Don't double click. You want to run it from the console. You can run main.exe. And when you hit enter, it should print hello world. Now you can play around with this. You have a little bit now of a better understanding of how this works, you can change the text that you write here. So you can write something like this is my awesome program. Save it. We can build it again. And then I can call that program. I'm just hitting the up arrow so that it uh, it can run programs, uh, commands that I've already typed in the command line. So you run main.exe and now we have new text right there. So that's the basics of writing a program with Odin. If you have any questions about that, then please write something down below. And I recommend that you check out some of my other videos where I go through making a simple game. If you're a little more advanced than this, you might get more out of those videos. If, uh, if you are just still starting from scratch, then make sure you subscribe so that you can catch updates to this series where I'm going to go through the basics of programming in as simple terms as I can make it with the Odin programming language. Thanks.